During the early Cambrian, there appeared an interesting group of arthropod uh, relatives known as the Anomalocarids. Uh, they are best known for Anomalocarids, uh, known from the lower Cambrian, one meter long, where it would have been the largest predator on Earth uh, which has yet been discovered. There were a number of other uh, forms uh, as well. Uh, some possess some mineralized uh, armor, uh, and uh, they are known for their large compound complex eyes and the feeding appendages resembling arms. It is thought that they preyed on uh, trilobites, perhaps using their arms to uh, bend the trilobite exoskeleton and, uh, so that they ripped. One anomalocarid is known to have survived into the Lower Devonian. Together, these fossil forms are interesting in part because it indicates that the arthropod body plan evolved in stages. And here are sister groups which have some, but not all, of the features which define the arthropods. Opabenia is another animal which was not an arthropod but probably closely related. It is interesting in that it had five eyes, very unusual, and a long proboscis probably used for feeding which measured about a third the length of uh, the body. There has been some debate as to whether or not legs were present. Kerygma kella seems to be an anomalocarid uh, because of the similarities of the lobes on its body, uh, the uh, feeding proboscis, uh, etc. Uh, there are some differences, however. It possessed a, a pair of long antennae-like structures, perhaps homologous to the antennae of uh, crustaceans. It is known to have possessed legs, which is significant because while some of the other anomalocarids may have possessed legs, uh, this is the only one uh, definitely known to have uh, possessed these, and uh, two uh, long processes uh, from its final segment as well.